This, of course, is a far cry from the tear gas clouds and shouting crowds in Turkey that have dominated the international headlines over the last couple of weeks. Emblematic Gezi Park in Istanbul may in the end have been evicted by the Turkish authorities, but the city's protest movement is very much alive and well, with disaffected residents taking to local green areas now night after night in a kind of party-like atmosphere to take control over their public spaces, they say, and to talk, debate and dream about what they want for their country's future. Now we are here, tomorrow maybe we will be in another park and we will, be, uh, we will be keep telling what we want from government, what, we, um, what are our rights and we want them to hear us. Do you, do you think that by coming here that you can change anything? Of course, we already changed so many things in Turkey. It's getting more intellectual, you can see the people protesting just standing there and reading a book and which is the beautiful part of it, you know, it's just people trying to be heard and they're doing it in an intellectual and sophisticated way and I'm proud that it's happening in my country. But what now? The protesters in Turkey are idealistic but disorganized. United in their call for change but divided in the changes they want. It's tempting but too simplistic to describe the tensions in Turkey as secular versus Islamic or East versus West. This is more social movement than a revolution driven by politics or politicians. The fact that especially among the youth you see that mix of more secular looking, maybe atheistic guys and more conservative looking, especially women and stuff, suggests that this is a generational thing as much as it is anything else. This is precisely what I think the uh, government is missing, that this is not your daddy's uh, Turkey, this is your children's Turkey and your children's Turkey, it's more urban. It's, more, it's better educated, it is more sophisticated, it is wired, and it is totally open to all the currents in the world. Something has definitely changed in Turkey. After the social protests in cities across the country over the last two weeks, critics of Turkey's prime minister are no longer afraid to speak out on social media, on the streets, or in the parks. They now know they're not alone. Katya Adler, BBC News, Abbasar Park, Istanbul.